Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today I'm bringing you another project with my mini kit Monday kit for January 2020. If you guys have not seen what I did with this kit earlier this month, check, definitely check out the rest of my videos from January. I pretty much use this exclusively for all my videos this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it in a lot of different ways. Today I'm doing another 8.5 by 11 layout. I don't know why, but they've just been speaking to me lately. And I'm doing a different theme than I've been doing. This is actually a birthday layout. And I didn't expect to do this, but I saw a cut apart in this kit that really inspired me to do something, you know, birthday themed. And that's when I came up with this layout. So again, eight and a half by 11 using this polka dot paper, which is from the Webster's Pages, a new day series. So the photo is actually of a gift I received for my birthday from one of my good friends, Selena. She sent me a package and it looked so pretty the way she wrapped it up and I thought that the colors went well with this cut apart that says let's celebrate something today. Again, it's a different take on a birthday layout. Again, this was a birthday gift but it didn't necessarily show up exactly on my birthday. You know how it is. Birthdays usually last longer than a day sometimes. So I decided to use that as my starting point. Nice cut apart to inspire a layout. I also decided to cheat on this page and use a little bit of things outside of my kit, including some teal cardstock that matched the text on the cut apart perfectly, and I matte both of these just to give it some solidarity. Um, I even considered matting the entire uh, polka dot paper, but I thought that was a bit too much teal. I do have a ton of this teal paper, so I'm glad I got to use some of it on a layout. It's a rather difficult color to work with for me because it's so bright and bold, but again, I'm really happy that I got to use it a little bit. And you may notice that this is actually a relatively slow process video. I didn't have to speed it up too much because it only took me about 10 minutes in real time to complete it because I kind of had it envisioned in my mind once I saw this cut apart card and immediately went for it. So I trimmed both of those out and they'll sit together on a sort of shelf design. Now this might be a go-to design. I'm not really sure how to qualify it because a lot of other types of designs can fall under it. And I think that's where I sort of had issues when I started my go-to design series back um, last collab, last series in Falling Back to Basics. I think a lot of my designs tend to overlap because I use elements from them and interchange them throughout my layouts depending on photo sizes and photo types. So this one does have a shelf with it and it also has a very special thing here. This is a the last phrase sticker on this sheet that says la la la. It doesn't truly fit, but the yellow and the blue match perfectly, so I had to use it. I look at some of the other bits in my embellishment kit, but what I'm really excited for is using the using some more washi tape. I originally thought I was going to be able to use the teal washi tape in my kit. However, the pattern on it just did not work, so I will turn to my regular washi tape stash to fill that need of having washi tape on a layout. Now for a shelf you can also just use paper. I tend to be a washi tape fiend so I tend to use washi tape whenever I can. You can tell that I'm auditioning a ton of different pieces. I bring them in, I put them back, I bring them in, I put them back. It's just something I do during my process and again usually this is sped up pretty fast. Um, and my normal process is I actually go through a lot more product to see what I want and do a lot more planning but since I'm working with a smaller scale and I'm working with less product. Here again, I am breaking the rules and diving outside of my kit, pulling in some jelly bean soup, different sticker sets to get stuff that I need. This one says be oh wait, it says be bright, be happy, be you. Just a really cute sentiment for something, you know, so sweet and so happy for this occasion. So I put that in the top left corner and know that I can't stay there alone. Um, then I start auditioning washi tapes. Now I have that washi tape right there. You briefly saw it. It's a blue and green sort of geometric pattern, but it just rips uncontrollably. Like I can't get a long enough strip off to use it. So I put that back. I think it's just one that I need to get rid of, maybe give it to a school so they could use it. Cause I know kids are a little bit more patient with those kind of things. Um, and you know, they might not need as big of a piece to use it, but I'm really frustrated with that one. And it's just one from Recollections, I believe from Michael's. So I'm not surprised it's not the best quality washi tape, but I move forward. So I also pull in this Pebbles, it might be Pebbles washi tape, and it's like uh, it's a geometric pattern, but it's got a transparency to it that I really enjoy. But I also wanted a little bit more contrast, so I end up pulling in this black and white checkered sort of pattern, which is also from Recollections, um, and it's just one of those really thin washi tapes. 
Layering washi tape is something I don't see very often. I think it's a great idea, especially with all the different thicknesses of washi tape nowadays. So if you haven't tried that yet, I would recommend trying it out. It's really fun. It's sort of like mixing and matching pattern papers, but they're see-through at the same time. So give it a try if you haven't. Highly recommend it. And then here is where I start building a cluster in the top left. So I use that same teal geometric washi, and then I thought about using the black and white washi, but I didn't want stripes going opposite ways. So I just pull in a plain black washi tape strip instead. And then my Be Happy or Be Bright, Be Happy, Be You sticker goes on top of that. And I'll finish building out that cluster while I keep looking at my sticker sheets. I found two matching blue and yellow stars on another Jelly Bean Soup sticker sheet, and I thought that worked really well in sort of the celebration. I don't know why, but stars make me think of celebrations of sorts. I'm not sure why. Let me know if you guys have that association as well. Um, but I don't know if it's just birthdays or like congratulations usually have stars associated with them, but for me they certainly do. I did get to use a tool on this layout. I pulled in my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to staple on this tab sticker from Jelly Bean Soup again. I just thought it added a nice little touch outside of the page, and that is just something that can really spice up your albums, is having something stick off the top of the page. I know it sounds scary, and it sounds like it'll collect dust, which it will, but I think it just adds a nice touch when you're actually going through an album and seeing something like pop out and say, hey, what's on that page? Super fun. Then I start going through my sticker book again. I'm still working through this. As you can see, there's some big dents in it now, which I'm really, really proud of. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people use their sticker books um, as dedicated as I have. And like I try to highlight it in series a lot because I know a lot of us own sticker books and try to use them as often as we can. But I'm trying to set a good example by using mine. So here I start pulling in a couple stickers. These are just some plus sign stickers. Again, this is the Maggie Home Sticker Book by American Crafts. This was her first one. I believe there's a second one out now. But I'm not allowed to buy sticker books until I finish one. I just think there are so many options in here I definitely could use. You know, I can keep using it on a multitude of layouts. So I pulled in those plus signs. And here I'm pulling in a yellow floral heart. I like that it brings in another pop of yellow that's sort of the accent color on this page because there's a lot of teal in the photo, teal and white, and then the pops of yellow really help bring it all together. And it's such a unique color scheme, teal and yellow I don't think I've seen a lot. Usually it's teal, yellow, and something else, maybe a red or a green, but I really enjoyed how it came out. So after I layer those two together on their shelf, as I called it, so they don't feel like they're floating, I continue going through the rest of my sticker book just to see if there's anything. I do end up pulling in this little bow. It's one of those daintier ones. I just thought it was nice to have a bow on a birthday layout because it is a gift. Gifts usually come with bows. I can't remember if this one did, but I believe one of the packages inside did have a bow on it. But it was a very, very thoughtful and sweet package, and I wanted to take a picture of it to remember it. And that card is absolutely beautiful that she sent me. It's one of those laser cut ones, um, and they are so, so pretty. And then I finished with a couple of these fun word stickers. Now, I try to look for really, really specific ones. So I pick out words including special, friend, wish, and I think there's one in each corner. So another visual triangle, if you will. But that is pretty much it for this layout. The little cut apart serves as my title. But I really enjoy how it came out. Really simple and really fast, which is something I tend to neglect lately, but I'm really happy that it was quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you want to see more 85 by 11 layouts in a comment down below. And here are the close-ups. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!